Right, this is a lecture on interpolation, and it's a method when you're given some points on a graph, uh, going from x and up in f of x, uh, you can plot the polynomial. So, I've just said that. Uh, I'm going to rush this video, so if you don't like rush videos, don't watch. Uh, our the polynomial formula is p of x is the sum of our just our functions at the points x, k, uh, times ln k of x. Now ln k, this is n, so it's the number of points going from, so if you had zero, uh, x0, zero, x1, x2, then n is 2, because that's the highest. Uh, and it's, it's a product of i0, uh, where i is not equal to k of x minus xi over xk minus xi. Right, find the polynomial, this is the example, so we're going to see how it works. Find the polynomial for x0 is what minus 1, then we've got 1, 2, and the functions are minus 2, 4, 10. So first we want to use that L function, I'm not sure what it's called. So our n is 2, because we've got 0, 1, 2, and k will start at 0, because uh, this is where it's starting. And we'll have the x minus x1, x minus x2, because we're using everything except i equals uh, i equals k. So we're not going to use x naught in these last parts, only in the beginning parts. Because uh, this is where k is. And this gives you this polynomial here, which you multiply it out. Then we do the same for 2, 1. So we have everything except uh, 1. So we've got x naught, x2, x naught, x2. And this multiplies out to here. This is a minus in front there. Uh, then we do this, the same finally for 2, 2, so we've got 0, 1, 0, 1, multiplies out to here. Now the next thing, if you remember our formula, is to multiply it by the functions. So with here, we've got the functions minus 2, multiply that one, 4 times this one, and 10 times this. And once we've done that, because that's our formula, uh, we can simplify it, simplify it further, and it will give us x squared plus 3x as our final answer. Nice and quick and easy. Right, next method, this is Newton's divided difference. This one I actually don't like, it's very difficult. I think so anyway. Uh, right, you use this formula for your polynomial. So it's your f of x naught value plus the sum of k is one. And this is your function here. Now this is f x naught comma x one comma la 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 all the way up to xk. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to compute these comma, uh, bracket commas here. And we multiply these by brackets of x minus x naught times x minus x one all the way up to x minus x k minus one. So your first one would just be uh, x minus x naught because k is one. So yeah. All right now to compute these, we have f of x i going all the way up to x i plus k. Uh, this is equal to f of x i plus one. So we eliminate the first term all the way up to x i plus k minus f x i comma all the way up to x i plus k minus one so we get rid of the last term so if it was here we'd have um, if you wanted to compute f of x naught x one x two we'd have x one x two minus f of x naught x one and then we're dividing it by x i plus k so the last term minus the first term x i right and we usually lay it out in this uh, table of this form Right, uh, and I should just say here, these x0, x1, this is just the first one. It'll be x1, x2 is this one, x2, x3 is here, and it's the same for here. That's x0, x1, x2. This is f of x1, x2, x3, because it's the, in the middle. Right, so we're going to use this example. We've got minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see that. And then we got minus 2, 1, 4, 13, 34, 73, 1, 3, 6. So 1, 3, 6 there. Right, and what you want to do is use this formula here with our table. And once you use all these values, it will, these will, what is what it's going to work out to be. So, um, let's choose an example. We'll choose uh, here. We'll choose between, this is x0, x1, x2, x3 between x3 and x4 so we want this value here so uh, between x3 and x4 we cancel the first term so it's x4 which is 34 minus x 
uh, cancel the last term, x3, which is 21, you can see where this is going already, divided by the last term, x4, which is 3, minus x3, which is 2, which is 1, so 21 divided by 1, which is 21, so that works. And you can test any other values, if they're not right, tell me. And we're going to use our formula for p of x. So we've got our function f of x0, which is minus 2. Yeah. And then we're going to add 3 lots of x minus x1, because this is our value here. And we've got uh, x minus x0, which is minus 1, so it becomes plus 1. Uh, the 0, we've got a 0 here. 1, well, the 1, so it's going to multiply here. Uh, which gives, that, uh, gives us these values. And once you multiply this out, it will equal... That's wrong. It's x cubed plus 2x plus 1. x cubed plus 2x plus 1. I'll fix that. Right, the last method, the forward difference. Uh, this is when you have to have equally spaced values. So your x0, x1, x2 will all be equally spaced usually one, like in the last question, and we give each of the gaps as this function here, so it's delta to the power n of f of x naught over n factorial h to the power n. Uh, now, delta f of x, this is just the distance between uh, one point and the next point, because we've got x plus h minus f of x and h is the step length, so it usually goes up in once. Right, here. Now, I don't understand why they've given us the th in the uh, format, because you're dividing by h when you're finding your t anyway, but this is just the way it's done. So your polynomial, and this is if you want to f find a specific value, then you put this t into there, otherwise you can just leave it as p of x naught. Now this is f of x naught plus the sum of t over k, in one of those bracket things, can't remember what it's called, times delta n f of x naught. Right. Example. Well, that shouldn't be there, but never mind. Right, we're going to use the same example again as in the previous. So we've got minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 2, 1, 4, 13, 34, 73, 1, 3, 6. Right, and we compute this table here. Now, the difference with computing this, it's actually a lot simpler than it looks like in this, the formula. All you're doing is finding the difference between all of the values, so between 13 and 34 the difference is 21 between 21 and 39 the difference is 18 if it was to go backwards if you had say 39 there and 21 there it would be minus 18 so it's the forward difference you're finding it going forward or down and you can see the difference between this table and this table it isn't much, it is the differences to start off with but then say well 9 to 21 is not 6 And then we put the values into our formula here. So we've got our x0 is minus 2 plus 3 times, because this is just delta 1, 3 times t bracket t minus 1 over 2 factorial, because k is 1, plus, and so on. Uh, here, simplifies to here, equals t cubed minus 3t squared plus 5t minus 2. And if you wanted a specific value, remember, you can just put it in here with a t, so you'll have x minus whatever your value you want to find it at, of a h, and then put this into here and it will find you the value at the point. So, since I've got time, if you wanted it at the point 3, then, well, h is 1, so t is x minus 3. Sorry, t is 3 minus x0, which is uh, 2, so we put it in as 4. If we put the value 4 in here, it should give us the correct value. I hope that's all made sense.